Fly fishing is a sport that's all about precision, patience, and practice. But did you know that the difference in performance between various types of fly fishing lines can be as high as 30%? That's right, one line can outperform another by a whole third, and that's a huge deal when it comes to landing those elusive trophies. Choosing the right fly fishing line is crucial for successful fishing, and it's not just about picking a line that looks cool or feels good in your hand. The right line can make all the difference between a great day on the water and a frustrating one. When it comes to selecting the right fly fishing line, many anglers are faced with a daunting task. With so many options out there, it's easy to get overwhelmed and end up with a line that's not suited to your specific needs. We've all been there, standing in the tackle shop, staring at rows and rows of lines, wondering which one is going to give us the edge we need. It's enough to drive you crazy. And it's not just the beginner anglers who struggle with this. Even experienced fishermen can find themselves confused about which line to choose, especially when they're trying out a new technique or fishing in a new location. It's a challenge that can be frustrating, but it's also an opportunity to learn and grow as an angler. One of the main reasons why choosing a fly fishing line can be so tricky is that there are just so many variables to consider. The type of fishing you're doing, the water you're fishing in, the species you're targeting, all of these factors and more can affect the performance of your line. And then, of course, there's the technical side of things, the weight, the material, the taper, the sink rate. It's a lot to take in. Floating, sinking, and sink tip lines. These are the three main categories of fly fishing lines, and each one has its own unique characteristics and use cases. Floating lines are great for dry fly fishing and for fishing in calm waters, while sinking lines are better suited to deeper waters and for targeting species that live near the bottom. Sink tip lines, on the other hand, offer a compromise between the two and are great for fishing in areas where the water is too deep for a floating line, but not deep enough for a sinking line. But even within these categories, there's a lot of variation. Different manufacturers offer different versions of these lines each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Some lines are designed specifically for saltwater fishing, while others are better suited to freshwater. Some are made for fishing in cold water, while others are better for warm water. And then, of course, there are the specialty lines, lines designed for specific techniques, like nymphing or streamer fishing. So how do you choose the best fly fishing line for your specific needs? It all comes down to understanding your fishing style, the water you're fishing in, and the species you're targeting. Are you a dry fly fisherman, or do you prefer to fish beneath the surface? Are you fishing in calm lakes or in fast-flowing rivers? Are you targeting trout, or are you after something bigger? By understanding these factors, you can narrow down your options and choose a line that's tailored to your specific needs. One of my personal favorites, the Go Tour Master Fly Fishing Line, offers exceptional value and performance. Known for its durability, this line has a well-designed taper that supports long casts and accurate presentations. The line's coating is resistant to abrasions, making it a great choice for fishing in areas with rocky terrain or heavy vegetation. It's also available in various weights, which means you can find the right fit whether you're targeting trout, bass, or larger freshwater species. I put a link in the description below so that you can check it out for yourself. Choosing the right fly fishing line is key to a successful day on the water. By understanding the different types of lines available, and by considering your own fishing style and the conditions you're fishing in, you can make an informed decision and choose a line that will help you catch more fish. If you've got any questions about fly fishing lines or any other aspect of the sport, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about fly fishing, be sure to check out our other video on the top fly fishing tips and tricks for beginners.